You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Well, guys, this is it. I am finally doing a rant to one of the worst president of Lucasfilm. Preston, you're definitely going to like this video. Even Preston cannot stand Kathy Kennedy. Hello, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Butterverse, and Frozen 2, and Ken Possible Fan 2001. So, before I get started, I have to tell you my short story, What Happened Today. So this morning, I was planning to going to do my ranking on the Star Wars movie in video form. But number one, I keep messing up, messing it up, my script, my acting. I'm very apology, everyone, but don't worry. I will do my ranking on the Star Wars movie on Comedia tab. Or fact is, maybe I could do a short video and send you guys a link to my ranking of that. I'm sorry, sent you to my link. On my letterbox account. So if honestly guys, if you want to see my Star Wars movie ranking, honestly guys, just make sure uh, 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 honestly guys, just make sure you sign in on your letterbox account and you can see my ranking on the Star Wars movie Remination and then etc. But right now we're gonna talk about Star Wars because today is May the 4th, which the force will be with you. Quote by um Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Star Wars A New Hope with a PG. I do like that TV spot, honestly. So today, I mean, so tonight, I am doing a rant to one of the worst president of Lucasfilm. And I couldn't believe it's been 11 years. She, if, oh, I'm so sorry, sorry. It's been 11 years since she becoming a president, a CEO president of Lucasfilm. So tonight, I am doing a rant on Kathy Kennedy. Yup, I'm doing a rant on this witch. Not on guys, and the fact is, I'm not trying to hate on her as a person. And the fact is, I'm not hating on hating on her as a producer because she do some great movie like E. T. with Steven Stewart or even The Avenger of Tintin, which the on guys that film is the most underrated film of 2011, and that film did not deserve any of the any of the overrated treatment. It's the same thing what they did to the Avengers: Infinity War or heck. A uh, black panther. So yeah. Honestly, guys, enough of the deal. Let's talk about the stuff that Captain Kennedy did, which is very naughty. So let's get started. Anyway, so let's start off with the movie called Indiana Jones and the Tower of the Old Man. Like honestly, guys, after I heard the news that they were making a new Indiana Jones movie, where Harrison Ford is returning as a as Indiana Jones once again. And honestly, guys, I was honestly I was not excited. Of that, because nobody, I will be nobody, I will be nobody want to see a 81 year old man to do another Indiana Jones movie, which I definitely agreed with Robert Storm. Even Robert Storm refused, I repeat, refused to watch Indiana Jones in the time of the Destiny. Like, who in the white mind wants to see an 81 year old man to do another Indiana Jones movie? How fun is that? No, of course not. I was not born yesterday. And sorry guys, so honestly guys, and after I watched the trailer, the trailer looks very really interesting. I do admit that even honestly guys, even even my excitement of this I'm sorry, of that film was getting downhill after I'm sorry. After the one line of Phoebe Walker Bridge, Big Mouth said, but at the end of the trailer, the other guy said, Who are you? And Indian Jones said, I'm her godfather. And Phoebe Walker Bridge and having an attitude when Indiana Jones said, I'm her godfather. It can show that Phoebe Walker Bridge characters have some really mean spirit characters. And I, 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 I got a bad feeling that she would be becoming a new Indiana Jones. I do not want to see a Phoebe Walker Bridge to be, I'm sorry, to be all new Indiana Jones. And even this film was so bad that this film was a biggest, sorry, biggest bomb of the box office of the summer 
back in last year, which I was hoping that this film would make a billions of dollars, but the box office did not lie because Disney have one of the worst, sorry, have, sorry, sorry, excuse me, um, have the rough time, have the rough time with the box office wins this way back then, 2023, back in last year. Because anyway, Disney have not get any hit at all. The only good, the only good hit they do, which is nothing, the Guardian of the Galaxy, and kind of elemental on the guys, and your yeah, show sure, elemental was not, on the guy was not even a box office success. But even that film had the money back, but still, a lot of people would definitely agree that elemental has some box office disappointing. The same, so, sorry, um, the same with Disney Wish, honestly. So after I watched Annie on Jump 5, I couldn't believe what the heck did I just watch. But honestly guys, the only good thing about that film, which is other than John Williams' score. John Williams' score, I'm sorry, John Williams' score will not let me down because at least, honestly guys, honestly guys, some movie featuring Luke, oh sorry, Lucasfilm, always bad. But I do admit, John Williams was not a half-ass with his score. I feel sorry I say the cuss for a second, so I might cut that part in a minute. And sorry guys, I really did not like Indiana Jones and the Tower of the Old Man because that film is nothing like <laughs> Yawn. Yeah, this film was boring as crap. Because this film have sorry, this film have Camp Candy's names on it. And there was a news article which I'm not gonna show it to you all because I did a video of of that. Back in last show, when I was watching Love Actually, which I love that Christmas film. That is honestly one of my second favorite Christmas film i ever seen in my life. Behind with the holdover. Yeah, I, honestly, I count the holdover as a Christmas movie, so don't judge me. So, hey guys. So, after I heard the news that Phoebe Walker Bridge characters will be, <clears throat> will be a new Indiana Jones replacement. I gotta say, I do not want to see Phoebe Walker Bridge as a new Indiana Jones. I rather see Harry Steinfeld as a new Indiana Jones. And the fact is, I rather see, I rather see Anna Taylor Joy or even Christian Bell or heck, hmm, or heck, I rather see American Forever as a new Indiana Jones than seeing Phoebe Walker Bridge as a new Indiana Jones. Like, honestly, guys, I'm not hating on Phoebe Walker Bridge. I know she's a very gorgeous woman, and I know she's in some movie on the guy instead of Indiana Jones. On the guy, she was in some movie, like If, which is a really a imaginary, I'm sorry, imaginary movie, which I might watch that because I'm a huge fan of Ryan Gonswing. I'm oh, sorry, Ryan Winnow. Ryan Winnow. Not Ryan Gonswing because Ryan Gonswing was in Fall Guy, which I might watch that film when that film hit on digital because that film looks very underrated, to my opinion. I mean, looks good. Looks good. I meant to say, looks good. Anyway, on the guys, and I know Phoebe Walker Bridge did a script on No Time to Die, which I know a lot of people did not like No Time to Die because of Phoebe Walker Bridge, and I couldn't wait to see a Tomb Raider reboot produced by her. So I really hope Phoebe Walker Bridge will finally get herself together. And on the guy, on the guy, let's not blame on Phoebe Walker Bridge because she is. She, on the guy, she is doing her job, but the only people you need to blame, which is another than, which, which is another than Kathy Kennedy, because Kathy Kennedy have no flipping idea how to do a character development, especially for female characters. She is making a female characters to, sorry, she is, I'm um, sorry, she is making some of the female characters in the Lucasfilm looks bad, honestly, and this is why Lucasfilm is so it's going downhill. It's really jumped the shark. Which can you even jump the shark in the galaxy? I'm just saying. And don't let me get started of Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. I cannot stand that movie. And all the guys, this is gonna be my last time. I'm gonna talk about it because I am not even bothered to do a rant. And the fact is, I don't want to talk about this film for the fifth anniversary because this film did not deserve any my regiment anymore. This all the guys, this film have everything what is wrong. With the Star Wars, but the biggest problem of this film, which is nether than the script and the writing. This is the worst writing I ever seen for a Star Wars movie. I don't understand why Kathy Kennedy is following the novel. Sorry, following one of the worst novel I ever read in my entire life, which is nether than the Star Wars: The White Skywalker novel. And on the guys, 
On the guys, here's a one of the Star Wars The White Skywalker poster was really half ass. On the guys, it was really half ass, honestly. It was really half ass. But on the guys, the only good poster I like from the Star Wars The White Skywalker, which is other than this poster right here. This poster right here. And yeah, sure, I know a lot of people are going to say, Oh, but dude, it's Photoshop. Who, who, who gave a crap? Who gave a crap? On the guys, I do like... I do like poster with Photoshop because poster with Photoshop is way better than doing poster with your imagination, to be honest. Sorry, got it. Or someone text me. Anyway, back was saying. Sorry, guys. The only good poster I like from Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, more like Poot Walker, which is another than this poster right here. On the guy, I didn't. On the guy, I didn't even care about the teaser poster. I did not care. A fact. On the guy, I do not care about the teaser poster, exclusive poster, and don't let me get started to one of the worst IMAX poster I ever seen in my freaking life. It's even worse. For God, oh, sorry. And for God's sake, it's even worse than a Charlie poster. That got released by Sony Picture Entertainment. Yeah, I do not want to think about that film. That film was a piece of noise fest, and Marcus would definitely agree that that film is so freaking boring as heck. I might rewatch it. I want to see how bad it is, honestly. Honestly, I did watch it, but I might rewatch it, and I want to see. <laughs> I want to see how bad on the rewatch, to be honest. But the worst thing I ever seen for a Star Wars film, for a Disney Star Wars film, which is nothing. There was a scene when Ray kissing. Kyle Wen. You hear me? I am not joking, kid. I am dead freaking serious. There was a scene Ray just have audacity to kiss Kyle Wen. I do not want to see a a Ray kiss her brother. I do not want to see sister sorry, I do not want to see a sister character to kiss a brother character. That is so Freaking pedophile! That is so freaking disgusting. Nobody wants to see that. I honestly, I rather see a scene when Anna kissed Kristoff in Frozen Two. And the fact is, I would have watched. So I would have watched. So I would have watched some scene in Kim Possible Soul the drama when Kim and one kissing, which dealt. I'm sorry, those kissing, or what hundred times better. And the fact is, who grew me that kissing scene? And um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, and um, internals a way better kiss scene than the kissing scene that we got in this freaking movie. Like honestly, guys, screw the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, screw Captain Kennedy for ruining that freaking movie. And honestly, guys, I definitely agree with some people. I do agree with Rotten Tomato, and I totally disagreed with the box office because honestly, guys, I thought this film, I thought Rise of Skywalker will lose a lot of money, but doing too as a Star Wars property. So of course it's making a billion them dollars, and so will the Star Wars story. I will get that movie in a minute. But on to guys, Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. This is seriously a downfall, and literally a jump the shark of the downfall of what happened to Lucasfilm. And now let's talk about the worst production I ever seen for a Star Wars movie, which is another than Solo: A Star Wars Story. Tampa Kennedy. Who in the white mind want to call that film a solo of a Star Wars story? Why not Star Wars Han Solo? Like, honestly, guys, Robbie Storm do have a good point there because calling a solo of a Star Wars story. Honestly, guys, it's kind of reminding me you're making a Frozen movie. You're going to call Honey Million a Frozen story. You better not call that or else I'm going to lose my crap. But honestly, guys, and yes, I totally understand why I, I'm sorry, why I use that title for my story part is exclusive. But if you want, I'm sorry, if you want to see a movie called Honey Million, A Frozen Story, I highly recommend you, you see it, it's on Storyfire, but if you're under 15, honestly, guys, if you, honestly, guys, if you're under 12, do not watch it, because it's literally, it's literally what it all is, so, I'm sorry, it's literally PG-13, so, I, honestly, guys, it's literally PG-13, don't watch it, because if you can't stand any, sorry, honestly, guys, if you cannot, honestly, if you cannot stand some of the lesbian couple, Guys, just don't watch my honeymoon, A Frozen Story. This is literally a gay movie. So, yeah. Honestly, guys, I'm just going to keep you guys safe. Honestly, guys, I'm not trying to hide something. I'm trying to keep you safe. Just like what parents do sometimes. But I gotta say, but the production of Solo... Sorry. No, no, no. We're not going to call it Solo Star Wars. Story. It sounds freaking odd wood. But I gotta say, but Star Wars Han Solo, it has to be one of the worst production I ever seen for a Star Wars movie. Campy Kennedy just literally watched the film. The marketing was completely a hot mess. A hot mess. Okay, number one, they got copyright from the album because please, sorry, please do not tell me that teaser poster of the character's poster is a total rip-off to the one 
album character, which is really, really so freaking ridiculous. And honestly, guy, even the poster is so freaking cool, especially for that one girl that she is such a beauty. I really like her. And yeah, sure, even I have a crush on the girl for Rogue One even more, but that girl from Star Wars, sorry, Star Wars Han Solo, ooh, man, she got that cake. She got that cake. Honestly, guys, <laughs> honestly, guys, not the cake for food. I'm talking about the other cake. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, guys, you know, honestly, guys, and you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say it because I keep this channel family friendly. I got to say, but she do got some cake on the dress, boy. Anyway, I got to say it. But after I watched Solo with Star Wars Story, at first, I really enjoyed the film. But after five years later, I just couldn't stand up that film. I just, honestly, guys, I just really thinking of that film is honestly one of the most disappointing and the most wet down Disney Star Wars film I ever seen for the history of mankind. Because I was really hope that that film will be a great, great Star Wars movie. But instead, that film becoming one of the biggest bombs out of the sorry out of the Disney box office, and there was a lot of people are blaming on Disney for that. People, you, oh, oh my God! Just use your common sense, uh, guys. Are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you that stupid? Are you that dumb? Are you guys? Are you just blaming on Disney? Or are you just being stupid? Uh, honestly, I'm probably both. Because the only people you need to blame, which is nothing, which is nothing, Kathy Kennedy. Because Kathy Kennedy have no idea what the heck she's doing. She'd really wish the solo Star Wars. I'm sorry, Star Wars on solo. You mean to stop calling the solo Star Wars? So it's so freaking odd with sometimes. But I guess said, but that is my thought on solo Star Wars story. Honestly, guys, I just think that film is just honestly, guys, it's not doing that good on the Wii watch. And yeah, sure, I do have a crush on that one girl that she hang out with Han Solo. But I guess said, uh, but I just. Uh, I, I, honestly, guys, just because of that, that doesn't mean that film is so freaking good movie. No, it's not. Like. Like, come on, why in the world that Woody Hilson is in that movie? I used to like his characters, but I gotta say, but his character in Zombie Wan, which is really a ton of dirt. Oh, shut up. Yep, he's a fantastic cowboy. On the got the same with the cowboy, evil cowboy from the Fallout show. I love that show so much. Because that show is so freaking a masterpiece. Anyway, back up to the scene. So, you got into some, on the guy, do some stuff that she been doing in the past few years. Back in 2020, she literally delayed uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi series because the script was not even that done. Do you think we was born yesterday? No, of course not. On the guy, it can shows, it can shows that Kathy Kennedy is just swacking work. On the guy, it kind of remind me, I'll say, it kind of remind me of the main characters from regular show and when Benson said, Shrugging off or else you're fired! Yeah, I gotta say, but I'm gonna be like Benson when Captain Candy is striking work, and I'm gonna say to her, if you don't do your work, you're fired! Anyway, guys, I, I, I do like Wiggler Show. Wiggler Show is such a classic. I really like that show. As long as he, <coughs> honestly, that is honestly, sorry, that is honestly, is honestly one of my favorite, sorry, one of my second favorite Cartoon Knuckles show behind with the Maze of War with Gumball. The Maze of War and Gumball is my number one. But speaking of that show, happy anniversary to that show, by the way. But I gotta say, but that's my rant on Kathy Kennedy. Honestly, guys, there was a lot of stuff. I just need to get this off my chest. But Kathy Kennedy, if you're watching this right now, and I'm pretty sure you're not, if you're watching this, not trying to hang on you, but some of the stuff that you're doing right now, it was completely uncalled for. You're just ruining Indiana Jones, and now you're just, sorry, you're just ruining Star Wars, and now you're ruining Indiana Jones. And let's hope she won't ruin some of the some of the project of Lucasfilm. Oh wait, scratch that. She ruined. I'm oh, sorry. She really ruined that one show called Willow, which I haven't seen Willow, but I heard that show is so freaking bad. So I am not interested. In watch Willow because I'm part of that film. I'm sorry. I'm part of that show is about a lesbian couple. I like lesbian couple, but why do we need a show? Um, um, um based on the. Based on just lesbian couple. That I'm oh, sorry. That show don't have no story. The only I'm sorry. The only story they they should. I'm sorry. They sorry. They did. What's another thing? They telling a two two couple are really loving and making out. That's why that show got canceled, and that's why Fantasy of Matters really cannot stand that freaking show. So yeah, honestly, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I'm not interested of watching a Lucasfilm shows featuring some lesbian couple. Guys, 
Oh, no, auntie guy. Auntie guy, don't give me one. Don't give me one. I support lesbian cover. I support gay people. And auntie guy, I support Prime Month. But like I said, but why do we need a show featuring some lesbian couple in the freaking Willow show? It's called Willow show, not lesbian show. What the heck is wrong with you, Kathy Kennedy? But I guess, uh, but I thought I heard the news that Phoebe Walker Bridge will be a new Indiana Jones replacement. I'm gonna be laughing for two hours because I will be laughing my butt off because there was no way. I would be, there was absolutely no way in the white right mind that Harrison Force would give his hat, give his outfit to Phoebe Walker Bridge. After what she done in this film, honestly, guy, she don't deserve to be a new Indiana Jones. I do not want to see a female. I do not want to see Phoebe Walker Bridge, which is the worst character in the Indiana Jones, and I do not care what her last name is. So, honestly, I do not care what her name is in the Indiana Jones movie because I give it to you, but she, sorry, she becoming is one of the worst characters that Lucasfilm ever, sorry, ever came up with. Yup, it's even worse than Jar Jar Bank. Hello, Mr. Jar Jar Bank. Jar Jar Bank, get the freak out of my channel. Anyway, guys, that was my way in on Kathy Kennedy. First, I did a win on David Zazel, and now I'm doing a win on Kathy Kennedy. So, what next CEO I could do a win on? On the I might do a win on Bob Chesbeck because I cannot stand his knucklehead. Thank goodness the Lord he got fired from Disney, and thank goodness the Lord we got Bob Arco as the CEO of Disney once again. Without him, Disney will be a S, S show. Can I say the S word because you know why? Keeping this channel family friendly, so I'm not. On the guy, I'm not on on the I'm not stupid. I, I'm sorry, I was not sorry. I was not born yesterday. I'm not stupid, so it's what it is. Sorry guys, uh, uh, uh. Hmm, sorry. Sorry guys. So tell me what is your opinion on Kathy Kennedy, please. On uh, the guy, please. Sorry, please do not. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but if I see a comment when people say, Oh, I wish Kathy Kennedy would get, get a death threat, and I really hope she get fired. But if I see those comments, I'm going to remove the comment, because I do not want that type of comment on my YouTube channel, because that makes my YouTube channel look bad. So people, do not wish your death. Please do not, sorry, please do not celebrate or what stuff that she's been doing, which is very naughty, which, honestly guys, I can see why that Kathy Kennedy is on the naughty list, because... Honestly, uh, guys, I just really want her to get her stuff together. So, Kathy Kennedy, if you're watching this, get yourself together, stop this nonsense, and do your, I'm sorry, and do your only thing that Raya movie will save the Star Wars movie. Honestly, uh, guys, I was really, honestly, uh, 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 guys, I just was hope for Ray after I watched The Rise of Skywalker, but the only way I'm gonna stick to, which is then Ray from The Force Awakens, and, and heck, I would have put, uh, honestly, guys, I would have preferred Ray. From the Last Jedi, which is the best version of Rey because she is such a beauty and I absolutely love her. The actress of Rey, I just feel bad. I just feel sorry that Kathy Kennedy is using her as her minions. Like, you're using her, honestly, honestly you're just using her just like what the chef did to Jessica in the Thanksgiving movie. That's what you're doing, Kathy Kennedy. Stop that. Sorry, stop the nonsense. Honestly, I'm not. Uh, uh, uh. Honestly, I'm not supposed to say about it. I'm not supposed to say about it. So, what's in the video right now? Sorry, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this Star Wars month for the very last time, please, I highly recommend you, you hit the subscribe button and turn on notification. And share the video with your whole family. And stay tuned for my ranking of the Star Wars movie on my Comedia tab or Plan B. Maybe I could do a short video of me sending a link of my letterbox account on my ranking of the Star Wars movie. So maybe all the guys maybe I could do that or I can just post it on the comedia tab. No scratch that. I'm just gonna post it on the comedia tab because if I do that, it will be a lot of work. It will be a lot of editing. So this video is real sorry, it's seriously like it's a 20 minute video. So 20 minute video, pretty well fit. It's even longer than my David Zazel rant. If you haven't seen that rant, I like a mean you you check it out. It's the best rant I ever did in this YouTube channel, period. So, hey guys, have a great night, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And the force will be with you. And guys, make sure you go on the guy and make sure you go rewatch some of the Star Wars movie. Please ignore what Fantasy Man is because they, oh, so, 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 sorry, they're nothing like they're a bunch of party pooper. They're a bunch of whiny babies. Keep complaining about, keep, sorry, keep complaining about politics in the Star Wars movie, like. Star Wars always have politics, for God's sake. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with today's society? This is... Uh, I think I cannot say in the society. The society is getting stupid. And, sorry, it's the full, full of stupidity.
But like I said, but this is the only video you're gonna get for Star Wars month. I'm very sorry because I was hoping that I could be sorry. I was hoping that I'm oh, sorry. I was I was hoping that I could do five videos for a Star Wars month. But number one, I was busy with Chris over here. And number two, I was on the guy I was out in the house. I'm sorry, I was out in the bows. So yeah, and then, on the guy, and tomorrow I'm gonna be out in the bows. So if any video you want me to do, but the only content I refuse to do What's another thing? Went on baby shows and went on character. If you, uh, guy, if you request me to do a went on Bonnie from Kim Possible, guys, even I cannot stand that freaking witch, freaking BS crap. But I gotta say, but I'm not gonna do a went of it because I, honestly, I actually, I, I'm sorry, I actually trying doing a went on Hans from the Frozen movie and I took him right to the source. Thank goodness to the Lord, I did not post that video. If I post that video, oh my goodness, I'm gonna, Oh my god, I'm gonna be, oh my god, I'm gonna be becoming as a, as a go, sorry, go anime community. Which I do not want that to happen, it's even the nightmares. Anyway guys, have a great night one, and I see you guys next time, and Kevin Kennedy, once again, I'm not trying to hang on you, I'm not, uh, 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 honestly, I'm not wishing you death, like, if I, sorry, if I wish someone death, it, oh my god, it make sorry, it make myself sorry, it make myself very stupid if I do that because that is so immature. Sorry guys, this is Nick Kick, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2 and Cam Possible Fan 2001 signing out and you guys have a great night and and have a great day sorry, have a great night one and I see you guys next time and have a great Star Wars Day. The force will be with you. Quote by Obi Wan Kenobi from a New Hope, which is the very first Star Wars film they gotta do by Lucasfilm. Sorry guys, have a great night everyone, and I see you guys next time, and once again, yadios, and good night!